The next test we'll look at is a Trendelenburg test or Trendelenburg sign. With this test, we look to see if the patient has any gluteus medius weakness. So with the test, I'm going to ask the patient, we'll be testing the right side first. So stand on your right foot, please. You ask the patient to maintain that without touching with the contralateral side. This is normal. She's holding herself up like that. If it was a positive test, the contralateral hip will drop down. Now we're evaluating the stamped hip, but she can't hold up like that, showing gluteus medius weakness on the right side, the involved side, and she'll drop down like that. If she does drop down, I'll repeat the test, give her instructions again, and see if she can handle that. So we do it again, and this time she drops down again, so we can assume she may have weakness. Of course, we reassess the strength. We'd have her in a sideline position, resist the gluteus medius to check with that. We'll look at Trendelenburg lurch next. With the Trendelenburg lurch, the patient will compensate if they have weakness of the gluteus medius on one side. So when they start walking, they will actually lean to that side because they have so much weakness, they'll tend to drop. So they're going to lean over, so they're going to lurch over on the involved side. So once again, if she has weakness of the right side, let's have you turn here, stand back here. So we'll act as if she has weakness here. She'll start walking and she'll start leaning over her hip. Okay, so stepping like that. So she'll lean that way. Now, a lot of patients can walk like this for different reasons. Let's have you keep walking like that. That looks very good. She could have pain, she could have leg length discrepancy, a lot of things going on, so we want to reassess. But typically that's what you'll see with gait. She'll compensate and lean over, and that's a Trendelenburg lurch. The first part was a Trendelenburg test or a Trendelenburg sign for weakness of the gluteus medius.